This is an incredible area for us to advance in. And our teams have worked together, hardware and software, to make iPhone uh, the first camera, the first iPhone really created for augmented reality, and the first smartphone designed for it as well. We custom tune each iPhone for augmented reality. The cameras are actually individually calibrated in the factory, and that makes a huge difference in the performance for AR. There are new gyroscopes, new accelerometers, and AR kit software is tightly tuned to all this hardware to deliver the best experience for motion tracking. And AR greatly benefits from the new A11 Bionic chip. The CPU handles world tracking. The new Apple GPU renders immersive graphics at up to 60 frames a second. The new ISP does real-time lighting estimation. And this stuff is amazing that it happens on a device in the palm of our hands. So I want to show you some of the work that developers are starting to do with AR apps on iPhone 8. So here's one example. It's a game, Warhammer 40K Freeblade from Pixel Toys. You can now use their photo mode to bring the Freeblade Knight into the real world and play it right where your friends are standing around you. Here's another from Major League Baseball's advanced media team. They're enhancing the AtBat app with AR kit so that when you're at the game, you can hold up your iPhone and see real-time player information and stats on top of the game you're watching. And here's Sky Guy from Fifth Star Labs. You can use AR kit with this app to actually superimpose the map on top of the sky as you're looking at it around you. So this isn't some generic sky. This is the sky around you. So now we want to show you an exciting AR app right here live on stage playing on an iPhone 8. It's from Directive Games. This is a new startup based in Shanghai. It's founded by developers who have worked on some of the biggest franchises in gaming. So please welcome Atli Marr, CEO and co-founder of Directive Games. Atli? Thanks, Phil. Earlier this summer, with the introduction of ARKit, Apple changed gaming forever. What we're about to show you is one of the world's first competitive multiplayer games designed to be played entirely in augmented reality. This is The Machines. In the game, players battle their friends in real time, either online or around the table in the same room. My friend and co-founder Andrea is preparing a match for us where we play the Rebels, against the Dominators. What's really cool is with ARKit and Metal 2 on the new iPhone, we are able to experience games in an entirely new way. Since players are able to view the game from any angle, our content has to be incredibly detailed. With the power of the new iPhone and Unreal support for Metal 2, we are able to render the entire level on screen an amazing 1.2 million polygons, while also allowing you to move in close to really appreciate the high visual fidelity. And just look at those 4K textures. It's gorgeous. Now, shall we go into the game? AR allows us to use our position in the real world to gain a tactical advantage. Just look how Andra is moving towards this cave, lining up his targets. This is something that would have been hard to do with Pinch and Zoom. It's like you're not just controlling the game, you're in the game. Very cool. Another awesome addition to the experience is spatial audio. If you go close to the action, the sound increases. And if a solid object gets between you and the action, the sound is occluded perfectly. And with the stereo speakers on the new iPhone, this is truly amazing. It looks like we're getting hit pretty hard. Yes, deploy a shield, protect our heroes. Now let's rain fire on our enemies, move closer to their base, and get ready for the fatal blow with our Sugu weapon. Oh, the dropship is there. Can you take it out at the same time? What you just saw 
is an amazing evolution in how games are played and experienced, thanks to the combination of ARKit and Metal 2 on the brand new iPhone. We can't wait for you to play it. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.